Hi everyone, it's Neil here from ECS Coffee, and today we're going to go over setting up your Barazza Encore grinder. We sell lots of these grinders, probably the number one selling grinder in North America, and there's a reason for that. They are fantastic. So we're gonna go through some basic setup procedures with that, and also give you some tips and tricks on what not to do with this grinder. Um, this one, the Barazza Encore, is designed uh, really for drip coffee. It's not really designed for the super fine espressos, uh, but it is a fantastic all-around grinder. Yeah. Just do not put things like chia seeds in it or anything else. We'll go over a couple of those things later. Okay, so out of the box, we've taken one out of the box here. We have the white one here. You've got your hopper, and then when we open up our little bin here, you're gonna find a little cleaning brush, a gasket, and a knob. Um, overall, this grinder is pretty straightforward in, in operation. Um, we're gonna go get to it in a second, but first you're gonna wanna put your knob on. Pretty straightforward. You're gonna notice that in the side here, there's a flat side, there's a flat side to the knob. You're gonna pop it in, line it up, and that's your off and on. And that's one way you can make the machine work, just turning this on, it'll continue to run, or there's a pulse button on the front. That's pretty much how it works to make it functioning. But for the setup, what we want to do is we first want to rinse all these out. I'm not going to do this because this is brand new. Rinse them out with warm water and let them air dry or dry before you put them back in the unit and then you can get going. So really there's not a lot of setup for this. Um, I'm going to tip this forward, see if we can kind of show you guys the top inner burr ring and how to put the little gasket on the top um, so you can get up and running. You notice there's a red line right in here inside the machine itself as well as on the ring. Those are gonna to wanna to be lined up. You pop this out. One note, if this is loose or, um, or has come off, usually never really seen it happen, but I have had people ask, it, it is reverse the thread, so you're gonna to have to tighten it um, the opposite way than you're used to. So, our gasket here, you'll notice, has two notches on it, on each side, and the idea is that they're gonna fit inside these two parts of our upper burst here, just like so. Now, most of you are gonna do, do this inside the unit. You wanna kinda of get it nice and snug like that. If you see that, okay. You can kinda of see I've got it lined up and kinda of push it down. And then we wanna line up our red mark, so pay attention to where red mark is, back with the machine. This is a, sometimes a little tricky, I put my fingers on the inside. I can kinda of drop it in place. It can be a little bit cumbersome. There we go, nice and snug in. Alternatively, you don't have to take the, uh, the upper birds out, you can just try and Snugly fit this on around the side using your thumbs and your fingers to try and get a nice snug fit so that it's kind of covering um, the complete inner ring so that your coffee goes right into the burst right there. And then from there, you're gonna have your, your grinder and you're gonna set this up with a silver arrow. Your hopper. Your hopper, sorry, your hopper, not your grinder. You're gonna have your hopper for your beans with the little silver arrow and you're gonna line it up to the triangle on the unit itself and you're gonna just press down and then twist and you'll hear the clicking noise. Those are your 40, starting at your 40 settings for this grinder with zero being the finest. Now, there are gonna be lots of videos and inside your manual that will tell you kind of some uh, guidelines as to where to start for depending on the beans you have and your usage. Um, so it won't get into that. Zero is the finest. Uh, I'm gonna say do not go to zero um, and press and hold that button. It's like putting your gas all the way down in a car uh, to the very bottom, not a great idea. We have people that, that tend to do that and then they screw up their paddle wheels inside and they send them back and the paddle wheels are all eaten up. Um, so don't go to zero, uh, but try to stay at the ones or twos, kind of at the finest, uh, but um, just don't go automatically to zero to get the finest because what people tend to do is they buy this thinking it's gonna be great for manual espresso machines. These are not the best for manual espresso machines. You wanna to go to one of their upper models. Um, so they wanna get finer and finer, so they go to zero. And then they just keep going, keep going to get it finer and it screws up the, um, the, the unit itself. Uh, so then you have to do some replacement parts, big pain in the butt. So a couple of tips and tricks on things not to do. Uh, do not let your beans, your ground beans, because your, your ground beans will go into the container here. Don't let it go above the silver line. You want to get rid of them or dump them after that. And another thing is do not use uh, anything other than a, a dry bean in this machine. So, or flavor beans, do not use flavor beans, do not use wet beans. Now, what do I mean by that? Flavors. We have our peppermint bark. Do not use that. It can be hard to get the taste out um, on future coffee. So no flavored coffee. You want to be using dry beans. I'll show you the difference between dry and wet. Okay. Get some dry beans right here. Um, these are dry and you can kind of see just by the, the image of them, they're dry. And I'm gonna show you some wet beans as well. They have a bit of a shine to them. 
So they're going to have oils on them. And those oils are actually going to congeal inside your grinder over time and, and cause you some, some, some damage and won't function properly. You're going to have to clean it a lot. So um, espresso beans that you'd find at some of your big box stores are on sale. Uh, one of the big brands has them, for example. Uh, they tend to be more oily. And you can tell by looking at them. It's hard to tell on the outside of the package, but um, some espresso beans are like that. We don't know why, to be honest with you. You don't need it. You can get great flavor out of a nice dry bean. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Again, no chia seeds. This isn't a grinder you want to be doing other things in. This is for coffee. Uh, so make sure that you're using coffee, regular, not flavored, because um, you don't want to get that taste. But other than that, you should be good to go. And that's it for the quick tutorial on the Baratza Encore. If you have any questions, please ask down below. Um, we do have replacement parts, so if you do screw up, we do have parts available for that machine. Um, and if you have uh, some love for our channel, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.